Hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little short cinematic film that I did. The whole rest of this video is basically just going to be giving you a little behind the scenes look at that video. First off, I want to apologize about my voice right now. I know it doesn't sound the best. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, but we will persevere. Here's an inside look about how that film was made. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up guys? So currently we are in Colorado at the top of a pass called Birthed Pass. Um, and today we were shooting some backcountry snowboarding. So today what I'm gonna do is give a full rundown of how I set up a shoot, why I go with the shots that I go with, and just kind of show you all the behind the scenes of like what goes through my mind when I'm shooting. And all of it's gonna be shot on the Skydio 2. So to start off, um, I'm gonna show you exactly how I pack my bag and how I travel with the Skydio 2 and all my other gear. So this is my bag that I have, um, it's an f-stop bag, it's really dirty and gross but it's the best bag in the world, uh, it's pretty much indestructible, so I really like it. Um, so how I have my setup is I have gloves, this little bag has just like extra propellers and all that, and then right in the back here is where I put the Skydio 2. It's super thin, just like that, um, it's not a big deal to carry around, um, I'm never worried about like falling on it or anything um, like later today when we're snowboarding I'll have my bag on and I'm not worried about falling on it because it's in this case um, and so that slides in there and then if you look in here even more um, you can see where all the rest of my camera gear is. I got pretty much everything that I could possibly need um, and in the top here is just the Skydio remote. So the first shots that I usually like to get when I get to a location is establishing shots so that's your just like typical going over slow pants just like showing the area of location so that's what i'm going to do now it's snowing right now but uh, i've had pretty good results in the past um, flying this guy to you in the snow definitely don't recommend it uh, but i've had good luck so i'm going to throw it up um, get those establishing shots and just kind of walk you through what's going through my head when i'm getting them cool so i just launched a drone um, and now what i'm going to do is just sort of like there's this little backcountry kicker that we're going to be hitting so to set the tone for that, um, I'm just gonna fly around that and get some super stable clips just right over those trees next to it. See this guy here, uh, avoiding that. Cool, so the idea with the, the riding today is you basically just like, you go down and then you get to the road and then you just hitchhike back up. Um, it's pretty fun and we got all the homies here so it should be a really good day. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna fly around, get some more establishing shots, get close to these trees, just sort of giving the viewer an idea of where we are. All right, cool, so after we've gotten those establishing shots of everything, now it's like getting more into the details. So the actual riding, um, my friends are gonna rip down here and just like go off the jump and I'm just gonna track them. Cool, we're locked on. You guys are good to go. shot was so sick cool so that run was super cool um, but this time me Misha and Zach are itching to go ride as well what I'm gonna do now is use the beacon so basically what the beacon is is it's something that just extends the range of the actual phone because when I'm riding I don't want to carry the controller um, so it extends the range of the phone and you can just keep this in your pocket and you can rip down the whole mountain and it'll just follow you um, I haven't used this a ton, um, so this is going to be one of my first times trying it, but I'm freaking stoked. We're going to switch over to that feed now.
Misha, what are we doing out here today? We are watching and filming people slam and, and try really cool stuff that they probably won't land. <laughs> and then later, once we're done filming, we're also gonna attempt those same things that will probably end in us all crashing. But the cool thing is, is this little kicker that they built, it goes directly onto really deep powdery snow. Um, so there's not a huge risk of getting injured. Um, so yeah, for the rest of the day, just gonna rip the Skydio around a bunch, do some more filming just with handheld stuff. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty sweet. I think they've got about a five minute hike up to the top and then uh, they're gonna rip it. Um, I have it set to tracking him from the front. So as he goes down, it's just gonna follow him in front. Dude, that was so hey, close. Hey, God damn, that looks so good. So I was sick. I just bounced and I can't ride it out. That was that so good. So sick, dude. That was so good. Watching it like come up over. <laughs> so, dumb. so what I'm doing now is switching over to 4K 60, um, just so I can get that slow motion. Oh, that shot is so sick! Holy shit! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> a little snowy? <laughs> Holy <laughs> that was scary as <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Dude, the drone was right on top of it. It looks Let's sick. go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so after the jumps, everyone's kind of down to just have a longer, more laid back run. So it's a really good opportunity to do another run with the beacon. So I'm going to throw the beacon on there and we're just going to rip down this little valley. Woo. has developed this strategy for yeah, yeah, attracting yeah. people. It's working. <laughs> it's working. Watch. Ready? Three, two, damn it! <laughs> wah, wah, wow. Anybody? Nisha has resorted to doing tricks. That's such a fun to ride. bribe a ride. <laughs> My hand down. Come on. Finally. <laughs> All right, so 
after that run, we just made it back up to the parking lot and it's pretty much the end of the day. The sun is going down. So to finish out the video, I'm just gonna fly the drone around, maybe go up on this ridge line a little bit and just get some cinematic shots to kind of wrap up the day. So that is it for this video. I'm gonna let it play out just with the rest of this footage that I'm about to film and I will see you guys on the next one.